Hey, it's Jennifer Roycroft. I'm sending you a video on how to cut out your pieces for the wedge star that's going to make your Alaska quilt. Um, so you're going, the first thing we're going to cut is the diamond shape. All right, you are going to pull your two and a half inch strips. That's really important. This is the strip that is two and a half inches. You're going to need your wedge star tool. You're going to need um, either this type of ruler with a 45 degree angle or a long one. I'm going to show you how to do both. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my 45 degree angle started. So I'm going to lay this ruler right here and I'm going to shift it down here so that I can get it so you know I'm getting rid of my selvage. But the whole thing is I'm lining this 45 degree line at the bottom of my strip. So let me do that and that's going to get me started. So I'm just going to cut that. This is trash. Goodbye. All right, the next thing is we have to cut the diamond out of this. So no matter what size strip you're cutting, when you cut diamonds, it's always going to be the size of the strip. This is two and a half inches, so we're going to cut a two and a half inch wedge. You can use a two and a half inch ruler and line it up. Let me find my 45 degree. Okay, my 45 degree. And I've got this black line lined right up here on the bottom and then I'm going to shift it over and line it up here. Okay, here's the thing. You do not want to get off on these 45 degree cuts so you need to have something to check it. So we're going to use the wedge star ruler and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump it up against my tool here and then I'm going to bring this line which is just happens to be a quarter inch of a line I'm going to bump it down so that it's on the top of my strip as I go down so that's my check to make sure that I've got it straight okay so I'm going to hold this move this and cut so there I've got number one okay so I need to do the same thing further down so I'm going to put this back up here again I'm going to line the 45 degree uh, line along here and I'm hopefully I'm going to be straight there because I haven't touched my strip I'm going to put this back on here and remember to line this line up with the top of the strip and I bump it up really good so I know that's straight so now I'm going to move this and cut Okay, this is a good cheater way to do it because this ruler is two and a half inches. If you don't have a two and a half inch ruler, let me show you how to do it with another ruler. So this is a Creative Grids uh, six and a half inch um, square ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 45 degree line. I am going to put it on the bottom of my strip here again and look then this line goes straight and lines up with that okay so see how I'm getting those lined up right there okay so now I'm gonna check to make sure I do have it indeed the correct way so I'm gonna pull this over here and I've got my line now my strip is not perfectly straight on my on my mat but I've got enough here that it is straight okay so now I'm gonna pull that away so I'm just gonna keep cutting okay you just keep cutting this on your strip and you should be getting 10 diamonds from each of your two and a half inch strips if it's with the fabric which I've had you cut that all right so hopefully that's explanatory um, and you can figure out doing the diamonds um, we will go over this again in class in case this is really confusing okay so now we've got diamonds and we also now need to cut wedges because we're going to put the diamond with two small wedges so next strip I'm gonna pull is this nice bright whoo bright red <laughs> you can see this really well we're gonna cut are small wedges from this this time we're only going to use the wedge ruler so this strip is three and a half inches so I am going to line up the bottom here at three and a half and I also want you to notice that there is a black line right across the top of that little nub 
that is there for a reason. You want to make sure that you've got the three and a half inches here and then that top line is at the top of the strip. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut on this side. This is the only awkward side you have to do. And then we're going to go this way. Okay, so this is waste. Now what I do is I just pull my strip away a little bit. Then I'm going to take the tool. I'm going to rotate it around, hence the name of Studio 180 Designs. And I'm going to line up my three and a half inches along here. And I'm going to make sure that it lines up right here. Okay. And now I'm just going to hold on. Try not to so you can see. And I'm going to cut that one. Move my strip a little bit. Come back. Do the same thing, three and a half inches, okay, hold on, cut, and you're going to continue on. Now notice that I did have this folded um, just the way it came off, and you'll get two at a time. If you're not comfortable with that, just lay the whole strip out and you can cut. Um, these are um, not equilateral, but if you cut it upside down or right side up, it doesn't matter. It's going to be okay. All right, so now that you kind of get a sense of what this is going to be, here is our diamond with our two small wedges, okay? Um, one thing that you may consider when you're doing a lot of cutting, now notice I have a lot of markings on my ruler and that is for other things that I use it for, but this has Invisigrip on the back. There are lots of lines, so I tend to use washi tape so that I can see where I want to focus on so you don't get lost in the focus. So if I put washi tape right here, and now what I'm gonna do is I have that three and a half inch line that I can focus on each time I cut. So now when I go put it on my strip, when I pull this around, I'm not looking all over the place where am I lining it up, okay? Washi tape is cheap stuff you can find at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any place like that. Or you can buy the glow line tape that OmniGrid sells and put that on your tool as well. So let's cut this one. Okay, so now we have more wedges. So you should be able to get 24 small wedges per strip. Okay, so that's the small wedge that you're going to cut. Okay, now let's move some of this stuff out of the way. We're going to cut a large wedge. So the same thing as the small wedge, except now I want to move my washi tape because this is a five and a half inch strip. So I want to move my tape down here to the five and a half inch mark. And now I'm going to line it up here. And it's going to have the little nub is at the very top. Okay. So we are going to cut here and here. Again, that part is waste. Pull this out a little bit. Turn this around. Line up my five and a half inch line here and my little nub down there at the bottom. And cut. Move my strip. Just keep going back and forth and back and forth. These you won't get as many wedges out of a strip as the little ones because they're bigger. These you'll get about 16 from each strip. Okay, so these are going to be used in a combination with the diamonds. Um, you'll probably have alternating ones when we get them sewn in different colors. Obviously, these are not the Alaska colors, but it gives you an idea um, of what we're going to do. And then there's also, we're going to be making some wedge stars, these are minus the squares, that are going to be, um, it's a kaleidoscope basically. So you will be sewing some of those together with just the large wedges. So I hope that answers questions. I hope you can get your cutting done ahead of time. Um, as much as you can get done would be great, so we have more time to sew and, and delve into that part. Alright, see you in a, in a few weeks.